Hi, welcome to the second part of the DriveWorks product overview. I'm Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems, and in this presentation, I would like to introduce you to the DriveWorks Solo product. Like DriveWorks Express, DriveWorks Solo is set up in much the same way. We start by capturing all the things we want DriveWorks to control, such as the model dimensions, features, custom properties, drawings, etc. But with DriveWorks Solo, we have a few more tools and capabilities at our disposal. You can also use this product to generate things like bill of materials, quotes, cover letters, and control the information that's stored in those documents. So we want to capture those templates also. DriveWorks Solo gives us more tools for creating more user-friendly input forms as well. So the next step is to build these so that they look attractive and also so that they, so that they guide the user through the configuration process. Once we have the forms built and the information captured from our designs, we can then build rules to generate our forms and our CAD models based on those inputs. Another option you have, if you're coming from DriveWorks Express and you already have something configured, you can simply upscale that to Solo. Once this information is captured, you can simply run your project and create variations of your models and drawings over and over again. Let's just take a moment to summarize the additional tools and capabilities that we have at our disposal when we move up to DriveWorks Solo. So these tools include things like preview generation. So you can preview the designs prior to actually generating any documentation. You can create great looking and more functional input forms. You can also drive a few more things as well, such as colors, materials, sheet metal properties and weldment profiles. You can use something called dynamic replacement files. So if you wanted to replace a file in your design and then dynamically change that file that you're replacing, you can do that in DriveWorks Solar. You also have full control over your file locations for your generated documentation. So if you want all of your files to go in a specific location on your network or somewhere within your PC, then you have more control over those locations for your, for your files. And then we also have additional outputs, and those are the quotes, bill of materials, and the cover letters. So let's take a look at DriveWorks Solo in action. But just like DriveWorks Express, DriveWorks Solo runs within SolidWorks. This is turned on from your add-ins, and it's just a simple checkbox in order to turn on the DriveWorks Solo product. Once this is turned on and activated, then you can simply use DriveWorks Solar to generate new variations of your design. Let's go through one of those right now. So here I'm presented with my first input form. This is asking me to complete the following. And as you can see down at the bottom, I've got some things that I have to do before I move on. It's asking me to enter values for these, uh, these different things. So again, there's rules that you build into the forms, which means you cannot move forward until those rules are, are adhered to. So here is looking for my customer name. So let's go ahead and just add some information to this uh, input form. And let's correct that one. Okay, and then we'll add our street address. And we'll just make sure that before we move on, we have all the information that we need regarding this design. Once we have that, you'll notice that DriveWorks Solo now allows us to move to the next form. You can create as many of these forms as you want, and you can specify as much information from the customer as you need. You can also add additional things to these forms, such as your company logo, or even hyperlinks to things like your website. Moving on to the next form, you'll notice we've got some images in here. We've got some different types of input as well, such as slider bars and drop-down boxes. In the bottom right, you'll notice, you'll notice that we have a price quote for our design. I'll start off by simply generating a model, and I'm going to do that by hitting the preview button at the top of my solo interface. What this is going to do is it's going to use the information that I have currently set up in this form, and it's going to drive my design and make it based on these parameters. 
Now let's take a look at changing some of these and we'll see some of the great tools in DriveWorks Solo that allow us to update the preview. So the first thing is I'm going to change the width and I'm going to slide it over until I get over 65. You'll notice now I have a new drop down column. Anything below 65 takes that one away. Above, it actually brings it back. So now I can select a different type of uh, column. You'll notice this little window at the top that shows me the preview of what the design's going to look like will actually change and give me a different preview if I change the color of that design. I'll go ahead and add a couple of things to this and then let's change the size of it. And again, you'll notice that the price quote updates. If I want to take a look at this design prior to actually generating any documents, again, it's just a simple click of the preview button. And we'll let that thing run for a few moments. Now we have a preview of what that design is going to look like. This is great for previewing and uh, just making decisions on the fly. If it doesn't look right, it's just a quick change. And then a preview again, and it will simply go and update that preview. What's also nice about DriveWorks Solar is I can also generate my drawings on the fly. So here I'll go ahead and I'll generate drawings for this design. In DriveWorks Solar, I have a little more control over the drawings and the file formats that are outputted from the drawings. So I can control things like the placement of my dimensions, the placement of my drawing views. I can also tell DriveWorks Solo to generate things like PDFs, DWG files, or eDrawings. The other nice thing about this, about DriveWorks Solo, is I can also generate other document types. So things like quotes, cover letters, and bill of materials. Let's go ahead and hit the quote button. And as you can see, DriveWorks Solo has generated a quote document for us. Cover letter, same thing. It's added all the information that we uh, put in the first input form, as well as the bill of materials. When you're happy with the design, you would just simply hit the finish button and you would let DriveWex Solo generate all of these documents for you. So here we'll hit finish. And as that's running, we'll take a look at Windows And here's where I'm actually generating these documents. So as these have been built, they're actually being added to this folder. And this is a path that I specified using DriveWorks Solo. It's generating things like my PDFs, my SolidWorks files, my quote, my cover letter, eDrawings, as well as DXF files. So as we've just seen, with DriveWorks Solo, we have some great additional tools to help with the creation of new design variations. The process is very simple. We fill out the input forms. The input forms are configured to gather all the information that we need. And then the results are that we generate new variations of our designs. DriveWorks Solo generates our 3D parts as well as our 3D assemblies. It generates our 2D output, such as our SOLIDWORKS drawings, PDFs, DWG files. And then also those additional documents, such as our cover letter, bill of materials, and our quotation. So the key benefits of DriveWorks Solar is that we're able to capture and reuse our design knowledge to save time. We're incorporating design rules to minimize costly errors from any manual mistakes. And we're also automating repetitive tasks. That's freeing up our engineers to work on other things. We're speeding up the process of generating 3D models and 2D drawings. We're also generating sales documents, such as our quotes and our bill of materials. These together are going to allow us to respond more quickly to customer inquiries. With DriveWorks Solo, we have customizable forms to help guide the user through the creation of a new design variation. We're also able to preview the results of that design variation prior to generating our documentation. 
we have great control over our drawings, our drawing views, our dimensioning and locations. And then also we have more control over the file creation, the location and naming of our output files. So thank you for your time. Again, I'm Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems.